looks like I'm gonna have to go under this stuff. You know what's cool? Not getting bit by snakes. Almost there. Oh, really slick though. <laughs> well, I'm going back to my roots today. I decided to leave my van stall heavy duty creek fishing combo at home in your favor for a, uh, a true ultralight rig. That's what I've got with me. That's an uh, Okuma Alaris, Alaris ALS 20 spool with four pound test strand monofilament on a, uh, it's a Shimano Stimula rod five and a half feet ultralight fast funny story is <laughs> i wanted to come out here prepared but once i got out to the creek i realized all my extra hooks and everything that i wanted to use was still in my kayak um so i have two ned rig hooks with me that's it i think they're eighth ounce hooks um <laughs> you talk about a minimalist trip so i'm gonna be throwing another but ned rig and bitsy tubes today Gonna be ultralight fishing the creek for uh, anything that'll bite. So there it is, the infamous TRD crawl. Basically a mushroom head hook with a weed guard. I think Dave's Bass, Dave's Bass Busters makes those hooks. Can't talk. And the key to getting these fish in, because I have such an ultralight combo with such a bendy rod, is I sharpen the heck out of that hook i mean that hook is a well well oiled machine right there throw right over in here there's a little tree i can get hung up in a little drop off right there all right got something i'm not used to drag coming out when i set the hook oh, all right got a smallie on look at the bend on that rod man <laughs> nice well this isn't fun all day yeah i want you to look how fat that smallie is jeez healthy little fish there we go creek never ceases to amaze me with the size of rock bass in it and the amount of rock bass in it a little chunky rock bass tell you what you won't find hardly a better spot to have a peaceful day than having a drink of water down by the creek And I tell you what, this gets deeper and deeper every year. Like this creek keeps flooding. And, you know, it just keeps changing. And that, this did not used to be here. There we go. Decent smallie here. Look at that rod bend. So sick on ultralight. <laughs> I don't think they mind it missing a pincher at all. I think it's probably seven, eight inches long, but on ultralight, it feels like a monster. Now ah, we're getting back in the smallie water. Come on. There we go. <laughs> Biggest smallie of the day right here. Golly. Ah, come here. I wish I could have found my net this morning. Nice. <laughs> Splash water on my camera. 
Look at the colors on you. There you go. Talk about feeling awkward. I had to hurry up and get past that section of creek. <laughs> um, a guy and a girl were swimming in the creek back there, and I guess she, she's like, hey, she was nice about it. She's like, hey, don't get, don't get too close. I lost my bikini top. <laughs> and I instantly felt like, I don't know, like I was a freaking unicorn with this camera on my head. The camera wasn't rolling or anything, but you know, talk about feeling awkward. All of a sudden, <laughs> you're fishing next to somebody that's half naked. So I just hurried up and got downstream. You never know what you'll get, come across in the creek here. Now, if I'm not mistaken, this is close to where they found that boy that drowned um, last year in the creek. This is where they found his body, somewhere in here. Which is crazy, because my house is just on up the road. But everybody, including myself, we were looking way downstream. So, I haven't fished this section of the creek in a long time. It's really sad to think about, you know? I saw you come up and get that one, little fella. <laughs> Usually the smallies don't turn on until the sun goes down. Hmm. Definitely <laughs> plentiful today. Come here. Gorgeous fish, man. Love me some smallies of the creek variety. All right, first sunfish of the day. Oh, man. So stinking pretty. Man, you, you just, you don't get colors like those anywhere else. I had to take a picture of that little fella. It's the prettiest thing I've seen in a while. You know, besides Sierra. I stopped to get a drink of water, retie my bait, and sharpen my hook. Just because, um, you know, hook set after hook set, your hook's gonna get a little dull, and I want all the point I can get uh, with four pound test. Hopefully gonna pick up a good smallie here, though. I'm getting into some good water, a lot of riffles with deep pools. Let's see what we can get into. Can't even stand up. <laughs> Got my reward. A little smally. You can go right back to where you came from there, buddy. Get over here now shallows in the sun all oh, right oh nice oh, I can't keep up with them decent fish here yes <laughs> bend that rod over there brother <laughs> solid fish solid fish Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Angry fish. Ooh. What is this? Oh, man. Decent bass on right now. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is... <laughs> Oh man, I got like a, I don't know. No, don't go under me. Jeez. Take my drag down a little bit. Oh man, this bass is just. I 
don't want it breaking my line. Jeez, look at that. Nice fish. Oh man. I'm trying <laughs> to get it to me. So you all can see it. Good night. This thing's got this rod bent double. He does not want to be handled. <laughs> I'm recording a voicemail right now. Bass is so big. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I gotta get somewhere where I can measure this thing. Oh man. I'm just going and just dragging it in the water. Wet the board. Put the fish on the board. I'm thinking 18 inches. Oh man. Yeah. That's 16 three quarters. But that bass is big, son. Look at that. Look at that belly on that thing. <sighs> Only thing that talks, tops that is a musky. Gorgeous fish. <laughs> That's what I came out here for. Oh my gosh, I didn't know what to do with myself with the ultralight catching fish like that. That was so much fun. I think I'm addicted to ultralight bass fishing now. <sighs> what? What? <laughs> wow. Check this out. I don't think this will ever happen again. So that bird, I didn't get a glance at it, but I think it was a red tail hawk. Caught that frog and it was getting chased or startled or something and dropped this right here. Ah, poor guy. Put him over here. Ah. He's sitting duck there, but at least he won't drown. Wow. What a weird day. It is hot and I am burnt to a crisp. I didn't bring sunblock with me, but um, I've already picked a couple ticks off of me. I'm feeling the burn. Uh, I'm just wore out, but it was a great day of fishing. I think from here on out, I'm gonna pack the ultralight rod. Um, I'm gonna also leave a link to the video I did on this stretch about two years ago. I took a kayak on it. I'll never do that again. It was way too much dragging but i did end up having a great day of fishing and it's just fun to look back on my old videos and see how much i've changed as a bass fisherman and how i handle fish and whatnot but i'm also going to leave a link to both my ned rig episodes i just i love the creek i love the ned rig i i love smallmouth and i want to share with you all videos i've done on that so check the description and check the thumbnails i'm going to try to put all the videos in the thumbnails but thanks for watching y'all uh, it's a good hot day of summer fishing, but well worth it.